Today I will be showing a new capability of the WebLogic Kubernetes Operator 4.0. This enhancement is the integration with Kubernetes horizontal pod autoscalers. In my demo, the WebLogic Monitoring Exporter is exporting WebLogic runtime metrics to Prometheus. The Prometheus adapter sends those metrics to HPA. We create a rule in HPA, and when that rule is met, then HPA will do a scaling action by changing the number of replicas of the WebLogic cluster. As soon as the operator sees the number of replicas increase, it will start a new managed server pod inside of the WebLogic cluster. First, I wanna show you the uh, monitoring namespace. We have Prometheus running, and we also have the Prometheus adapter, which is the one that sends metrics to HPA, to the horizontal pod autoscaler. Now let's look at the WebLogic domain running in its own namespace. Here we have a WebLogic domain with one admin server and two managed servers inside of the cluster. So now let's take a look at uh, the metrics that we are exporting. This is uh, the configuration for the monitoring exporter. So we are exporting for the web app component, uh, you know, all these metri runtime metrics. Uh, the one that I'm especially interested in is a session open total count. And then we have some JVM runtime, some work managers, thread pool time, JMS runtime metrics, JDBC, and JTA runtime metrics, and then the persistent stores. So all these metrics are being exported to Prometheus. Prometheus is scraping them. We can take a look at that. So if we do WLS, let's look specifically the one that we are interested in, which is the web app open session total count. And we want it for the specific web app that we have deployed to the WebLogic servers in the cluster. And let's look at the values. So right now, there are no sessions, neither in the managed server one nor managed server two. So the next step is to look at the HPA rule that uh, we are using. So the HPA rule that we have deployed, this rule is deployed to the namespace of the domain you can see that we have that any scale down action or, or scale up action is gonna take about 60 seconds to execute. And it's specifically to the cluster, right? And then we are looking at the total open session to the test web app, which is what we were looking at in Prometheus. So Prometheus is sending that uh, metric to HPA. And when the average total count of open sessions reaches five or exceeds five, there will be a scale up action. And uh, the HPA rule tells you what is the minimum number of pods that are gonna be running in the cluster, and then what is the maximum. We can also look, the HPA looks right now, so we can see that it's on, the reference is on cluster one, and the target is five. So if it exceeds five, the minimum number of pods, maximum number of pods, and number of replicas that are running right now is two, which is consistent with what we see here. Now let's try to do some curls so that we can increase the number of open sessions on Managed Server 1 to about, I'll run it maybe seven or eight times. And that will cause that the rule gets triggered on HPA, and then the number of managed servers should be increased to three. Okay, we've reached uh, five. Let's see, uh, let's do a couple more curl commands. Okay, we've reached six. That means that in about a, a minute, uh, we'll see the replica counts go up and we will see a third managed server uh, started. There it goes. So the third server is you starting right now. Um, we should see also the replicas here increase in the HPA. 
if you want to try this demo, we have a blog that goes through every single step that I have executed here to show you how to set it up and then how to run. Hope that has been useful. Thank you very much.